Let's go. Good morning guys, welcome back to another vlog. As you can see, we are starting the day off today in my car. I'm actually kind of in a rush right now because I have a laser appointment to go to and it's at 11 and it's currently 20 past 10. So that should give me enough time to get there. But just the way that I am, I always like to arrive to my appointments at least like 10 to 15 minutes early. I hate arriving to them like just on time. I always have to be fairly early that's just how i am anyways i better go before i get stuck here talking and rambling to you guys all right so let's go oh it's bright outside today goodness me once again it is a very beautiful day today not a single cloud in the sky. It was actually kind of cold when I woke up this morning. The weather lately has been so, I don't know, bipolar. Like last week, it was hot. Kind of felt like summer. This week, it's like getting cold again. So I just don't understand like what the go is with the weather. In saying that though, there is officially, I think it's like less than a month until winter ends which is good because i'm pretty sure spring starts the first of september for us over here but i know overseas like your seasons don't start at the beginning of each quarter like they start randomly in the middle of certain months which i think is kind of weird but um you know so yeah i'm excited because winter is almost over i don't mind winter but it's just like it ain't no fun when you don't have anyone to keep you warm. When I shoot my shot, that shit wetty like on Shaq. See the shots that I took, wet like on Book. I swear the next car that I get is gonna be big and like completely opposite to what I have right now because my car is like small it's lowered it has stiff suspension and it's just like such a pain and I'm over it like having to go over speed bumps so slowly I always get people behind me who like beat because they're like why are you going so slow I mean obviously I can't go quickly otherwise I might just fuck some shit up I don't know why I'm choosing to park all over here but we're doing it. All right, we are good. So it's currently quarter to 11, which means I got here exactly as I wanted to, 15 minutes early, so it gives me time to just like chill. So I usually like to have a coffee before my appointment, but I think I'm just gonna get one afterwards today. Also, while I'm here, since I have a little bit of time, um, who am I gonna give my shout out to for this video? Do you guys hear that? It's really loud. Let me give a shout out to this person. Oh man, I <sighs> my camera totally just fell on its ass right now. But as I was saying, I don't know how to pronounce your name. And I don't want to like pronounce it wrong because I feel like people always say my name wrong. So I don't want to do it to other people as well. But I'm going to leave your comment right here. Shout out to you. You said that you recently started watching and you're from California, which I think is so cool that's definitely a place that is on my bucket list of places to go to but yeah I think I want to start doing like shout outs before every video so if you want to be in my next one make sure you leave a comment down below and I might just pick you anyways I better go inside now I'm not going to bring my camera because um yeah i'm not like super comfortable with public vlogging you think i would be by now but if i'm by myself it's a little bit more difficult if i'm with somebody else i don't really mind it but by myself like holding a camera up it's a little bit um yeah so yeah i'm gonna go to this appointment maybe i'll try and vlog like inside the little room we'll see I'm not going to vlog the process obviously of me getting laser like, like that's a little bit too weird for youtube but um yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, I made it back 
from my appointment I also had some lunch as well as for my appointment it did go pretty well nothing crazy to report just to save as usual you know it only takes like five minutes these appointments um, it's literally just like lay down and then you're done okay time to go home <laughs> She said, what you gonna do if I leave? I said, bitch, I'ma do me. Oh my goodness, why is there so much traffic? Oh, you got it bad when you're stuck in the house. You don't want to have fun. So what do you think about my old man? You're my girl. I'm gonna tell it to the whole wide world. Lady, say I'm your girl. What else? You're my man. Promise to love you the best I can. So I got home not too long ago and I had to get changed as soon as I got home. I don't know about you guys, but as soon as I get home from being out for the day, whether it be like at work or running errands, that kind of thing, I always have to like get changed. Anyways, I am currently snacking. I don't know why, but lately I've been addicted to these. I'm a big snacks kind of girl. If you know me personally, then you know I have a very, very sweet tooth. I've always been like that. Like I love sweet stuff, chocolate, biscuits, cookies, like anything. I love sweet stuff. And I don't know if they have these like overseas. I'm pretty sure this is a Japanese product. So I'm fairly sure they'd have them overseas as well. I remember having these all the time as a kid, but just like the original version, which was chocolate. And I recently discovered that they do them in green tea matcha as well. And yeah, I've been obsessed. I love green tea anything. Like, I just love the taste it gives. It's like sweet, but it has like a really nice aftertaste as well. See, it's got this like green tea goodness inside. Anyways, right now I just opened up the house cause it's so cold. I feel like it's more cold inside my house than it is outside. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but my, um doorway out to the patio like fully opens there we go yeah it fully opens so i just open that up because it is way too cold in the house right now since it's a very nice sunny day outside i do already have some laundry that's been out on the line drying all morning but what i need to do is wash these and this is embarrassing like how dirty these are because these i wear a lot to the gym i also have like another color um, in my car, but these like live in my car or Yeah, they pretty much live in my car. They're either on my feet or in my car. So they do get like Kind of battered a little bit, but as you can see they are in need of a clean And I've been putting this off for ages because I don't know like I love a good clean crisp white shoe But I never knew how to clean them. So today I am going to attempt to wash these <clears throat> Somebody told me that it's okay to put them into the washing machine and I'm mean, like nervous to do so because I'm like are you sure they're okay to be put into the washing machine because I don't want that shit to get damaged you know. That's what I'm going to do right now I actually have to take the laces off first. Wow these are dirty. Jeez that's bad. <laughs> All right, so wow, I can't get over how dirty these are. It's so bad. But now that the laces are off, we are going to take these to the washing machine and see what we can do. Apparently, I'm supposed to put them into a washing bag. Do I put them in together or separate? And what about the laces? Do I like leave them flying around in the washing machine loose or what? Uh, why am I so clueless when it comes to this? I feel like I know how to do everything else, but washing shoes, I'm just like so dumbfounded right now. Like I don't know what I'm doing. Let me get my phone because I need to ask what to do. This is so embarrassing. Okay, so my shoe washing guru says <laughs> that I don't have to put them into a bag. Let me just put them into the bag. Oh, okay, yup. Yeah. I don't know. I seriously like, what are you doing, Lizelle? 
shoelaces can they just be left like this i mean if they get tangled i'll just untangle them i guess and then you can go in there and you can go in there okay good luck guys don't die on me <laughs> i am so extra so annoying okay I just put a full scoop of laundry powder in there because I don't want no stains to be on these shoes when I take them out. As for the wash, apparently I'm just meant to do like a regular what I normally do. So, quick 30. Oh, should I make the water warm? No, because I don't want the glue to melt. Is that right? Man, why am I so clueless when it comes to this? What the hell? Oh my goodness. Oh, this is so dusty. What the heck? I just realized that's so dusty. I need to clean that right now. That's annoying me. Yes, I wasn't kidding. I didn't even realize that, like, there was dust on this thing. All right. Well, there's no turning back now because they are officially drenched. While I wait for those shoes to finish washing, I'm snacking once again i swear me and snacks like if you guys have a daiso near you which i'm pretty sure almost everywhere in australia there's a daiso then you have to go and check these out because oh, they are so good it says caramel corn honestly though like so good so good i'm pretty sure there's daiso in the u.s as well i think like some states have it I know I've seen some American vloggers talking about Daiso. I swear I can eat a whole bag in a sitting, which I mean, I almost have. Honestly, I need to slow down on my snacking though because I feel like I snack when I'm stressed, which is bad, but I'm not complaining because it tastes so good. Hey, hey guys, this is how the um, shoes turned out. As you can see, the laces are so super duper clean apologies if you can hear the dog barking outside i'm pretty sure it's my neighbor's dog i i think i'm gonna have to like <laughs> put them through again because apparently i shouldn't have put them in the bag but um it's all good i think i want to get like a liquid stain remover as well just because there's like a little you know you know me miss perfectionist over here wants to get like every single stain out but for the most part like it's a lot more clean looking than it was before. But I think I'm going to go to the grocery store later and see what I can find. For now though, I'm just going to put these aside and let them dry. I did have them outside in the sun before, but it's currently quarter past four. And the sun is quickly going down, so I'm just going to leave them here for now. Look at the sky, you guys. Oh my goodness, why is my camera going so blurry? while well, my camera is like doing this weird thing all by itself i totally missed the sunset today it's like a routine like a ritual more like for myself to just always catch the sunset like i don't know i just like to take a couple minutes out of my time when it's sunset to just like sit and like watch it and i kind of missed it but this is the end of it and it's still pretty so i had to show you guys i wish i could show you guys more but obviously i don't want to give away like where i live but yeah it's like a routine for me is to just watch the sunset every day so currently i am editing the tutorial for this look i don't know if this tutorial is going to be up before this vlog but yes that is what i'm currently doing i'm just waiting for this file to finish exporting because i don't know if you guys actually know this but i record my audio separate from my uh video yeah that's what i'm trying to say so typically when i go in to start editing i have to do it twice over because i have to firstly import the footage layer the audio on top export it and then import the footage with the new audio and then start editing from there if that makes sense i know some of you guys are like interested in the editing process of what i do with my content so yeah that's how i do things if you've ever wondered what i use to edit is um just iMovie, <laughs> nothing special. I have previously tried using Final Cut, which I don't mind it, but I just feel like for the price that you pay for that program, because it is quite expensive, it's like a few hundred just for that program, I just felt like it wasn't really worth it, 
especially at this point in time for me because I'm pretty satisfied with the way that I edit my content. But yeah, man, if you just want to get started with YouTube videos and you're looking for something like really quick, easy, user friendly to use, I totally would recommend if you have an Apple product to just use iMovie because you can actually do a lot with this program. So um, yeah, that is what I use to edit my videos. It's just good old iMovie. Can we just take a moment though because this makeup look I am obsessed with. Oh, oh my goodness. Honestly though, like I never wear colors like this and I definitely feel like I am wanting to experiment with more color lately. I just feel like I went through a really long rut of like not wanting to use any color. I just wanted to stick to like my basic neutral shades but the color man i'm really really feeling it so yeah it all started with that tiffany blue color on the lids and then it turned into this look and i'm obsessed all right guys i need to take a break oh that's bright that made my hair look really red um but i need to take a break to feed myself because i forget to do this oh, it's cold down here I left the door open. No. I forgot to shut the door. That's why it's so cold. Yeah, I need to make myself something for dinner because I have just found out that I have to wake up early for work tomorrow. So I need to feed myself and get to bed soon because it's 6.30. I don't know what I feel like eating though. This is my dilemma every single night. I'm like, what do I want to eat? Mm, I have some like pre-marinated chicken that I should probably because I'm pretty sure they use bias in like less than a week so I need to like eat it um, and I'll probably just like steam some veggies so I'm gonna get cooking oh my goodness it's like chilly as hell down here mm, 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 mm. I'm gonna light this in an effort <laughs> to heat up the downstairs area of my house not that it's gonna help but if you have watched my um home tour then you would know that i always like a candle to be burning i know that's so like oh my god typical girl like she wants a candle to be burning no but this stuff man it smells so good um if you're wondering why it looks like that it's because i just put another um cube of a wax melt in i actually get mine from a vendor at like the Sunday flea markets. I'm pretty sure she makes them herself and they smell amazing. And they're super inexpensive. I mean, for example, this candle over here by Glass House, you guys would know that Glass House does some really nice candles, but I'm pretty sure a candle like this is like 40 bucks and you're literally just burning your money if you think about it. Um, so I try not to buy candles anymore and I just go for like, wax melts because I feel like it's just, I don't know, much more practical and they last longer and they smell pretty damn good. So yeah. Another thing about me is because I live by myself, I always have to have some kind of background noise. Otherwise I feel, um, I don't know, like it's too quiet. So pretty much 99% of the time when I'm home, I either have like the TV on, music playing or like even just a YouTube video playing, like something. I just need like that background noise. And I'm pretty sure I can't be the only one that's like this because it just, it's too quiet without anything on. So it's funny because when I vlog here at home, I always try and like turn down the music or like turn off the TV. So it's like easier to listen to me and cause I don't want to get copyright obviously. But best believe most of the time I have like music playing in the house just because it keeps me company, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, I'm currently, um, boiling some water in the bottom of the steamer so I can steam my veggies and then I have my pre-marinated chicken right here so I'm gonna chop some of that up and make myself some dinner so this is my dinner for tonight I'm just frying up some pre-marinated chicken I'm pretty sure this is like lemon and herb and some garlic I think I can't remember but it's so much easier to like get pre-marinated meat so you don't have to worry about seasoning it and like marinating it and letting it sit and whatever alongside that i'm just gonna have some steamed veggies broccoli cauliflower corn and peas this is like a pretty standard dinner for me like because it's quick and easy to make i just like to fry up some meat and have some veggies sometimes i'll have rice but i try not to eat 
so much rice, obviously, because carbs and I'm about to go to bed, like, I just, I try and avoid it in the evening, so that's why I just like to have some veggies, and I feel like that really fills me up, so, yeah. Also, random life hack, because it's winter and it is quite cold, and I don't want to put my food onto a cold plate. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else does this, but I warm up my plate just a little bit. I mean, I remember when I was younger, my dad used to put it in the microwave, but since I have it, like, here on the stove top, I typically just like to, um, turn on the stove top and just, like, let it heat the plate up a little, so I'm not putting my hot food straight onto a cold plate. That's, like, my little winter life hack, so that's good. It's warm now. We're all good. Alrighty, that's my dinner. I know this doesn't look appealing <laughs> whatsoever, but it literally is just my go-to if I don't know what to eat. It's just like meat and some veggies and I'm good to go. So that's all I need. And um, yeah, time to eat. I'm just making myself a mug of tea. I'm pretty sure Americans like don't really do tea like Australians and British people do because we put like sugar and milk but I'm pretty sure like correct me if I'm wrong I'm pretty sure it's not like really a thing but before I got into drinking coffee tea was like my shit like I always had tea all the time I mean I might be a complete like dumbass fella <laughs> for assuming this but I'm pretty sure Americans don't have tea like this Correct me if I'm wrong people, correct me if I'm wrong. So like you have your tea all brewed, ready to go, and then you just like add a dash of milk. And then you can of course put sugar, but I just put like a squeeze of honey in there. And um, yeah, I feel like this helps put me to sleep because apparently a home remedy to like put you to sleep is milk and honey, like warm milk and honey. So I feel like this is my alternative to that because I don't really want to have a whole cup of milk right now. But um, yeah. If I feel like something sweet and I don't have anything sweet to eat, which I don't because I'm trying to avoid snacking on sweet stuff, even though I was totally snacking today, you guys all saw it, then I'll just have a mug of tea with honey. <laughs> So I just finished cleaning up my kitchen and now I'm about to take the trash out. Super exciting stuff. But really it is um, that day tomorrow when the rubbish gets collected. So I need to make sure I put it out now before I go to sleep because I'm going to be leaving the house really early tomorrow morning. And can I just say like, I know that it's really great that all of the grocery stores over here no longer supply plastic bags because obviously that's better for the environment. But I'm like running out of bin liners because I used to use those plastic bags that they give you to put your groceries in as bin liners and I keep them all in this box above my fridge right up there and I pulled it down to get some more out because obviously I'm going to change the bins and I only have a few left so I just realized that I'm going to have to start buying plastic bags now which is like something I'm going to have to put onto my grocery list because I don't even think about buying plastic bags because obviously I just used to use like what they give you but I feel like everybody does that or is that just me I feel like everybody uses the plastic bags that they give you at the grocery store to line your bins whenever I change my bins I always have to like fully clean and disinfect it like all over inside and out because I just feel like obviously there's so much bacteria in the bin but I feel like if you clean it every time you empty it out then it doesn't get dirty I don't know if that's just me even with the big garbage bin outside <laughs> I always wash it out like once it's been collected I always will go ahead and wash the bin I don't know if that's weird so I'm just looking at my shoes and I feel like this part is kind of dry already and now that I can see like it is more clean but I think I definitely want to go and get a stain remover and um, do it again just to like see if it, anything more will come out because I feel like it's kind of like, I don't know, like it's a little bit off kind of. But for the most part, like that wash did a pretty good job. Apparently I'm not supposed to put it in the wash bag. I'm going to try this again another day, but for the most part, I'm glad that it doesn't look as like 
gross as it did before. The laces too, they're pretty white and clean, crispy looking, so I'm happy with that. I think I'm gonna have to end the vlog here, guys, because it is already 8 p.m. and I do have to wake up really early tomorrow morning, so I'm gonna call it a night. I'm just gonna finish tidying up some things down here, but for the most part, Everything is clean, ready to go for another day tomorrow. But anyways, I am officially gonna call it a night now. I think I'm gonna go upstairs, shower, and get ready for bed. I think this vlog is actually gonna be a pretty short one. I don't think I'm gonna do like weekly vlogs anymore because I feel like that throws me off vlogging because I like vlog one day and then I don't vlog the next. So I feel like it's a lot easier for me to do daily vlogs, not every single day, um, but like, a day per vlog if that makes sense i feel like it keeps me more like on track with vlogging and actually remembering to vlog so i hope you guys enjoy the whole influx of vlogs that i'm going to be doing because i feel like i am able to be more on top of my vlogs in this format as opposed to vlogging a week at a time but in saying that it may mean that my vlogs won't be as long as usual i don't know i can never really tell like with the amount of footage that I film in a day, how much I'm gonna cut out, like what I'm gonna keep and what I'm gonna get rid of. So I don't know if this is gonna be a short vlog or not. I feel like today was a pretty boring day. You're gonna hear me say that a lot. <sighs> Just because like, I don't really, and I've said it before and I'll say it again, but I really don't get up to anything too exciting. But after reading like through the comments, on my previous vlog, you guys are into that. So <laughs> if you want it, then I'll give it to you. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below. Maybe I'll pick one of you guys to give a shout out to in my next one. And with that being said, hope you guys are having a fabulous day, week, whatever it may be, wherever you are. I hope you guys are having a good one and I will see you all in my next video. Take good care of me when I am shooting. But tonight I'm riding and she keeps me safe When I think I wanna love, she's always by my side You can come my side, I think I wanna love, but you are by my side